Hey all here, OS Reviews. Although we're living in a digital age where we have larger and larger phones and tablets which make typing out notes pretty easy, there are still a limited number of devices that can really imitate the experience of pen and paper when it comes to note taking. So that's why devices like this, scanners, still exist, believe it or not. And this version here in 2019 has built-in Wi-Fi. It can connect directly to your smartphone or even to your computer. Of course, it also has the ability of saving them directly onto the SD card, the model here has 16 gigs included. Now one question that you may have is why don't I just take a photo of it using my smartphone? Well that's probably going to be a decent enough solution for I guess most you know, budget conscious students. But if you are a professional, you want really high quality scans, say because there's a tiny font going on with the paper that's hard to just capture just right using the camera, it can be a very awkward experience. Some of the small details might be missed. Or if you're a teacher or a professor and you want to scan in a textbook, something like this, of course, will give you that higher uh, pixel resolution than just using the camera, not quite as professional. It scans papers up to the standard A4 size with a maximum 1050 DPI for the resolution. Resolution. You can save the file in either in JPEG or a PDF format. Aside from the scanner, we also have a soft carrying pouch, a mini CD that includes the drivers for your computer, Mac, or Windows. We also have a microfiber cleaning cloth, a quick instruction manual, and a mini USB cable used for manual syncing if you don't want to use Wi-Fi. Quick look at the hardware here. It is made entirely out of a glossy plastic material, but uh, doesn't creak or cringe around the edges. Feels pretty solid. Uh, we have just the iScan logo. We have the LCD display, a back key, a settings key, up and down navigational control controls, a power key that can then be tapped on once to begin a scan. On the side we have the SD card, the 16 gigabyte one is pre-included, as well as a mini USB port for the USB. So a pretty simple design. Turning the unit on, we have just the display here. It's not touch sensitive, so again we do need to rely on the controls to navigate around. We see the battery status remaining here. There actually is a working time, kind of interesting. So there is a timestamp that you can use to save and view back the documents later, but uh, I can navigate around here and change the resolution of the scans from kind of a high quality, a low quality to a medium quality. Now to confirm, which act as this key, I can turn on the Wi-Fi, after which point we'll see this icon pop up that means the Wi-Fi has been turned on and we can connect to it on our phone. And the really interesting thing here is it doesn't actually have a companion app that you need to download from the iOS or the Android Play Store, but rather to access the prints, you simply go into a web page. That is, we type in 192.168.10.1. So there we are, entering it in. You can see this interface. It's very simple, but uh, we can navigate around the file structure of the SD card inserted. So we can tap on this to look at all the prints, but some of the icons here are still in Chinese. So it's not the best interface, but it's functional. This is just to refresh uh, what I'm seeing here. To do a scan, we can tap on this key once and just begin moving it upwards on a page. Now you can't go too fast, which is one limitation, it takes about you know five to ten seconds simply then lift and you can tap on any of the keys to finish off the scan to view back some of your scans i can just tap on the circle key here and that will play back your last scan we can tap on this key again to do a four time zoom i can also navigate around uh, to make out the characters a little bit easier and then tap again for an eight times digital zoom. You can see how everything is still really crisp and it actually is working quite well. Um, so other of these scans that I tried earlier, you can have definitely do just a portion of a page if you want it to just by lifting up. So now coming back to the app and taking a look at some of the images or PDF files rather that we've captured, we can tap on it, we see the file size and it will simply download it onto our phone's uh, memory. Now I do wish there was ability to preview it first without necessarily downloading or saving it, but uh, that seems to be a limitation of the app right now. So again, the key here is to move at a consistent speed, and if you achieve that, you can definitely get some pretty high resolution. It actually is still rendering a little bit here for the phone. And here's another document that it was able to scan in, again, using the color mode. One thing to keep in mind is to align yourself when doing a scan. There is a small marking on the side of the scanner here that you can see that's the end of the page. So anything that goes beyond this will not be scanned in. Of course, if you have pages or just scraps which are smaller than a full A4 size, it still can be scanned in without any problems, such as this small instruction manual here. It's actually about the same size as the screen, so it's very small and the text is also tiny, but we can zoom in and after a few seconds, you can see that it pops into a a very impressive resolution and detail. So some final remarks, the portability really is what this 
model is selling. Because if you think about it, a lot of printers even have a scan functionality. But if you're constantly traveling, then maybe something like this makes more sense. Otherwise, you still need a flat surface for the scans to turn out correctly. So use a tabletop as opposed to maybe a carpet surface because that will produce a more inconsistent result. Ultimately though, the new feature here is that built-in Wi-Fi, which can connect to your smartphone more easily if you are on the road and doing your scans. With that being said, if you want to save a few bucks, some of the older models that don't have integrated Wi-Fi, just using a SD card that you can scan and transfer onto a computer later are about half the price. So that is something to keep in mind if you're just looking for a more budget alternative. But if you do need that wireless functionality, certainly is an interesting option to consider. You can learn more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been a wireless mini document scanner called the iScan.